This is one huge parking lot. Huge. Asphalt's very hot. All right, today I'm heading to Peoria. And not Peoria, Illinois, but Peoria, Arizona. I've only been to Peoria, Arizona probably, I, we've probably driven through it maybe one or two times in the last five years. I've never actually been there. So I'm heading out there. Uh, there was a, my son wants to dress up uh, for school. He wants to be a pilot. Somebody's selling uh, one of those onesie pilot outfits uh, online that we'll probably have to alter and stuff. It looks like and it's an adult one. So uh, I'm gonna drive uh, about uh, 50 plus miles to go get this thing. Um, so we're gonna see Peoria together here on the Arizona Timeless Tourist. So uh, let's go check it out. This has turned out to be quite a day here in Peoria, Arizona. I, f I just filmed this segment uh, over at the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger Museum that's about four and a half miles down the road. And uh, when I got in the car and I looked at the video, it was buzzing because they have all these huge satellites around there and it was interfering with the audio of my video here. So I drove down the road a little bit, but I went, I was, I was going to show you, they have a, a museum for the Space Shuttle Challenger. Uh, it's right down the road. I go in there, I walk in and uh, the doors open up and there's a gentleman standing there and I'm like, uh, hello. He's like, hello. And I'm like, um, are you open? He's like, no, we just started relocating. We just closed. So they've been there for years and today they decided that they're going to close down and relocate. So on top of going to get my son, remember that I, the reason I'm come here is to get that pilot uniform that I saw online, that, uh, that onesie kind of jumpsuit uh, fighter pilot uniform. Let me show you that. Just went and picked it up. I went to uh, a side of town here in Peoria that's been here since uh, probably Peoria was first established 50 years ago. And I knocked on this door and the lady handed me some a suit and I really didn't look at it until I got in the car and paid her the money. And uh, again, online, my, my wife and I looked at this thing and online, it looks like an adult flight suit. It's a kid's youth costume is what it is. It's a, a size medium youth. My, my son, who's 13, is not going to fit in this medium youth uh, flight suit. Not what I drove 55 miles for. Definitely not. So I thought, what could I do to make this trip a little bit better? I looked it up. I saw the Space Shuttle Challenger Museum. It was only four miles from this lady's house. Got there, closed. What can I do? So I went online, I checked out, you know, what, where else can I go in Peoria? And I've arrived at the Peoria Sports Complex. So let's go check out the Peoria Sports Complex. This is a spring training location for two teams. Let's go check out who those two teams are. really don't know what I'm doing. I'm walking around this huge complex to try to get a better picture of the ballpark than through the fence, than through this fence that's all the way around. But this place is absolutely huge. It's the home of the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. I'm going towards the Seattle Mariners side of, uh, side of the ballpark, see if I can get some better shots. It's warm out today. And I don't know why it's so warm. It's the middle of October and it's 90 degrees. Okay, I just might be in luck. I forgot the fall league out here that starts, I want to say in the middle of October and goes through November. And it's, it's your double A, triple A guys coming up. Uh, they play in it. Uh, some major league ball players play in it. And tickets are cheap. Uh, tickets are between, I think, 10 and $15 to come and watch this. But I'm gonna walk over here because it looks like 
they might be having a fall league game, which would be spectacular. Let's go check it out. Not what I thought. Uh, it is a, uh, they are having a, a baseball tournament over there, but it's, uh, it's for college kids to play. So, I'm walking over here because it looks like they're gonna have an RV show. And if it's open, then we're gonna check out the RV show. Fifteen people here, and there's probably at least 80 to 90 RVs to check out. I love looking through RVs because someday when I hit the lottery or this YouTube page goes crazy, I'm gonna be able to afford one of these and tour the country because I love to travel. But uh, this is excellent. This is, this is, this is beautiful. Uh, let's go check some of these RVs out. Pretty nice, but there ain't no way in God's green earth that I would spend $88,000 for this one. Mm-mm, no, no, let's go check out another one. This is a 2006 Fleetwood. Still, not very impressed with it. If you buy it here at this show, now get it, 2006 Fleetwood, $85,000. Does it show the mileage on this thing? It doesn't smell real good either. Mm -mm. Let's go check out another one. Oh, someone's coming in, of course, someone's coming in. I got a feeling this one, it's gonna be nice. This is a sports coach. Let's see if it's dual axle. It is not dual axle. I know you can't probably see it, but TV on the outside. All right, this is a sports coach, cross country edition. Let's see what we got here. But I think they might it must have pets or something in here. Yeah. All right, let's go check out another one. Monaco, Monaco makes a, a pretty sweet motorhome. It does have a certain little smell to it, and it's just not close to what they produce today. Not really impressed. If I'm by myself, this baby is all I need. Check this thing out. It's got its own little kitchen in the back. A little pops up here. It, this, this pops up here in the back. You got a microwave. You got a small refrigerator. You got a speaker system. You got a plug-in. You got a sink. And then you got this little beautiful area to sleep in. You get this thing for 10.5 today. 10.5. Well, that was a good, that was nice. That almost made the drive worth it. It almost made that the, the costume that I came and gotten is not gonna fit my son. The museum being closed and deciding to move today of all days. The traffic was a little bit backed up, so I wanna get back to my side of town, but first I must stop at Starbucks. So let's go hit the Starbucks real quick.
Now, I'll never understand why the San Diego Padres come here to play ball. They have absolutely gorgeous weather all year long there. Yet they come to Peoria, Arizona to have spring training. I guess you just get more people out here because it is the great state of Arizona. That's why the Arizona Timeless Tours covers it.